Hello friends, welcome to our series Math for Machine Learning and today we are going to look into the concept of hyperplane. So suppose in two dimensional, okay, I have a vector like this. So this line is the hyperplane in this case. So this is 90 degree. So this line is the hyperplane okay in three dimensional case so this is my vector so a plane which is 90 degree or orthogonal to my vector say this is 90 degree so this plane is called hyperplane of course in two dimensional it might not be a plane it can be just a line but then you get the essence of it and in four dimensional similarly there will be a plane which will be in three dimensional so basically what you are getting is so this is 90 degree so basically you have hyperplane in the n minus 1 dimension so this is above greater than 3 okay uh, okay but but then why are we learning about hyperplane right uh, it will become very obvious when we see actually a real world problem but first let's understand the concept okay so suppose i have a um, scatter plot between two variables okay say v and w right and the data if i plot the data like this and say i plot the data like this i can see that i can draw a plane here to separate this data and this data here and that is actually the main use of hyperplane we are basically using this plane to slice through a data set and separate them out so similarly suppose this hyperplane is nothing but a knife and you have a piece of cake which you can cut through and you know separate the two pieces together right okay so i'm still not clear <laughs> how it is going to separate what and what data so let's take one more example so suppose again i'll draw the same diagram here okay this is my vector and this is my other vector now say this data whatever you see here represents a cat and this data somewhere represents the picture of a dog then this hyperplane should be able to separate them so basically it can be used for solving a classification type of problem now the same thing now instead of cat it can be spam and this can be not spam so the then what the, what is the next step we should do we should do we should find basically what is the decision boundary where exactly should i draw this hyperplane that is our next question that immediately comes after this okay so in order to calculate that uh, the decision boundary uh, that we showed in you in the last picture what we want to find out is that value uh, where it where the hyperplane will slice through right so before that let's uh, 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 remind ourselves this uh, calculation so we had a weight vector right and this is w1 w2 and so on wn and then we had a data vector which was something like this v1 v2 v3 right now weight vectors are typically fixed values right they are not going to change for at least for that operation so what we are looking at is something like w dot product v is greater than a certain value say a okay so by definition we know that it is nothing but the norm of w times the norm of v 
times the cos theta between these two vectors should be greater than a a is any random value we will see and this basically will help us identify the decision boundary and because w is fixed so what we are going to see find out is um, we will divide both side with the norm w so basically we have norm of v cos of the angle between them greater than a times the norm of w okay now let's see what does this mean geometrically okay so if this is my weight vector w and this is my data vector v so this length or this particular component is nothing but the projection the orthogonal projection of v along the uh, axis where w is lying so that means this component is nothing but the norm of v times the cos of angle between these two vectors and the angle is here theta okay so now what we are saying is this component or this length is greater than certain threshold value which is this and say which lies somewhere around here okay so this value is basically your uh, a over w the norm of w now what i'm saying is if the length of this or anything which is bigger or longer than this particular threshold right then they have the property of w dot product v greater than a all right so this kind of hyperplane concept can be used in uh, image analysis where you want to separate uh, two types of pictures say one uh, the pictures of cat or one another the pictures of the dogs right and then you can separate them out and similarly uh, in case of uh, uh, machine learning you know we can also separate uh, things such as uh, spam versus uh, not spam emails etc or uh, there has been a fraud or not a fraud uh, kind of situations as well in type of in terms of say banks transactions right so this concept comes very handy and knowing the underlying operations what's going on uh, helps us in get a very clear picture of the problem all right so i hope you have learned something new today and in our next uh, video we are going to look into the geometry uh, part of the matrix and that's going to be very interesting so till then have a great day and keep practicing.